This video shows the dynamic waypoint capability that has been added to the Flying Drone Toolkit for Unity. This enables drones that follow other drones or any other game objects to have a more sophisticated behavior that allows following around corners and through narrow passages. As a recap, drones in the Flying Drone Toolkit have different options for their behavior when they follow other game objects. The option that has worked best so far is constrained following, meaning the drone does its best to follow while staying constrained to the path joining adjacent waypoints that have been configured in the game. It has also been possible to configure direct following, meaning that the drone heads directly towards the game object it is following. This has been of limited use because there is no obstacle avoidance. This led to the new option of dynamic waypoints. In this option, as the object being followed moves, it emits short-lived dynamic waypoints that serve as sort of a memory of its path. This video will show two demonstrations. Finally, a future feature will be obstacle avoidance when a drone is not following at all but is wandering in an autonomous way. This is not a trivial AI problem in 3D, but we are working on approaches to add this in a future release of the Flying Drone Toolkit. Here is a first demonstration showing dynamic waypoints. Robot Kyle, under user control, is going to run behind a building, emitting dynamic waypoints as he goes. The dome drone will then use that path as a clue to successfully find Robot Kyle. To set this up, we add a dynamic waypoint emitter to Robot Kyle. We emit a dynamic waypoint every quarter second, provided that Kyle has moved at least five units. We will automatically delete each waypoint after 60 seconds. Also, for demonstration purposes, we will have visible waypoints. Finally, we will have each emitted waypoint three units above Robot Kyle. We've also added a dynamic waypoint follower component to the dome drone. We've set the cast radius to two, which means that we are looking for a clear path from the drone to either Kyle or to one of Kyle's dynamic waypoints of a radius of two units. We should also set the follow mode to direct. Otherwise, the path the drone travels is limited to the paths connecting static waypoints. We start the demonstration. This is set up using the Drone City sample scene. We've got the scene view on the left and the game view on the right. We set the small camera in camera to show us robot Kyle. I am manually controlling Kyle with the keyboard to run away, leaving waypoints as he goes. We can see Kyle over here in the scene view. I will have Kyle run around the corner of this building so there is not a clear line of sight from the drone to Kyle. However, using the dynamic waypoints, when I tell the drone to follow Kyle, it can still find him. I am pausing the demo to explain. The lines in the scene view show sphere casts from the drone to Kyle and the waypoints, starting with the most recent waypoint. The red sphere cast is the first one where the drone has an unobstructed path. The drone travels to the first unobstructed waypoint and updates to closer waypoints when possible and finally makes its way all the way to Kyle. Next is a second demonstration of a drone following another drone. 
The dome drone will emit dynamic waypoints as it navigates to an obscured location through a narrow passage to the interior of a building. The flying saucer will follow the path and successfully find the dome drone. Again, we have the scene view on the left and the game view on the right. To start the demo, both drones take off and hover. Then I take manual control of the dome drone to fly off and hide. Note the waypoints that I am leaving behind. It's a bit tricky to navigate the drone through this small open window. But finally, I get inside the building. Now the flying saucer does not have a clear path to the dome drone, but there is a path of dynamic waypoints. I switch the flying saucer to follow mode and off it goes. The cyan sphere casts are obstructed, but the red sphere cast is the first one that is unobstructed. That's the one the flying saucer follows. Using the dynamic waypoints, the flying saucer found its way to the dome drone without any difficulty. Please send any comments, questions, or ideas to the email shown. Every game and simulation is different, so we would like to hear what kind of dynamic behaviors are right for you?